Merhaba Leyha kanalıma hoş geldiniz. Bugün Angelina Jordan'dan The Journey of Angelina Jordan from Norway to Hollywood diye bir video. Derseniz geçelim izleyelim. Daha fazla Angelina Jordan hakkında video istiyorsanız video beğenerek yorumlar. Kanalıma da bulursunuz sanırım. Bu. Hey Angelina Jordan. Yes, you are. Aa. At the age of seven years, Angelina Jordan was the grand prize winner of the reality television talent competition series Norway's Got Talent, and captured the hearts of international viewers as her performance videos went viral online in 2014. Her fans tripled when she was invited to compete again in America's Got Talent, The Champions, in Hollywood yes. in 2019. While she didn't take home the top prize, it helped her singing career to flourish even more, though slightly wow. derailed by the COVID-19 pandemic. The hiatus was a blessing wow. in disguise, as it gave her time to blossom into a beautiful young teen, and at the same time mm. rested her voice, which grew to an even more mature and deeper soulful Aww. vibe. She has since then performed on several prestigious stages locally and internationally, wow, mesmerizing the audience with her amazing talent. The child prodigy was a term often used to describe her, as she'd been enthralling everyone who heard her sing. Her understanding of music, even as a child, had given her an edge that could be heard while belting out difficult jazz songs. She was an wow. enigma who continuously attracted more people since she began performing publicly at a very young age. Angelina Jordan hey. Estar was born on 10 January 2006 in the city Aww. of Tigers called Oslo, Cute. Norway. She's her like mother, it. Sarah Estar, raised her and her younger sister with her adopted Swedish father, Jerry hmm. Christian Slatham, in between Norway hmm. and the Middle East. The artist in her blood could have been inherited from her mother's side of the family, since her grandmother was a known Iranian painter and poet named Mary hmm, Zamani. Look at that. Many couldn't believe it when Angelina would tell everyone she that she famous? started singing at the age of 18 months. Her mother heard Eight her singing months. a Whitney Houston song ah. entitled I Will Always Love You in the bedroom ah. while she was cooking in the kitchen. Later on, she was exposed to other music genres, including jazz songs, and taught herself to sing them with the help of watching videos on YouTube. Her choice of songs belied her young age simply because it was quite rare, even unheard of for young kids to enjoy <laughs> jazz and old classics. <laughs> when asked about her favorite singers, she would mention Billie Holiday and Dina Washington. <laughs> she also jokingly said that most of the songs she enjoyed singing were from people who were already dead, including Frank Sinatra. It was her grandmother who exposed her to international jazz singers, and one of her favorite pastimes was to go to local music stores and listen to her favorite idols. She would also play the piano there while singing timeless pieces. People around her recognized that she was uniquely different from the other kids, and while they Aww. wanted her to live a regular life, having a voice like that, they knew that she was destined for something special. Angelina's family recognized that she had immense love for music, and they supported Aww. it by sending her to school to expand her knowledge about it. She was enrolled in the Oslo Waldorf School and also made sure that she joined the Oslo School of Music and Performing Arts after school program. As a result, <laughs> she not only received vocal lessons, but also became adept at playing four musical instruments, the guitar, flute, piano, and violin. Wow, she really? She her grandmother's artistic skills too, as she also painted as a hobby and loved to write in her journal. The amazing depth and breadth Angelina displayed in the reality TV series Norway's Got Talent shocked everyone the moment she delivered her first line on stage. <laughs> in 2014, no one in the audience or the panel of judges expected a spot-on cover rendition of Billie Holiday's hit song, Gloomy Sunday. But Angelina gave a powerful performance, wearing a cute white dress and barefooted. She's Judge so Omer commented, all the judges agreed that they were seeing something fantastic and had goosebumps while watching and listening to her performance. Even the audience felt that it was something else and showed their appreciation mm -hmm. by giving her a standing ovation. Aww. What made them all pleasantly surprised 
was that the voice came from a seven-year-old <laughs> girl. The audition performance was short, but the waiting period was quite long, and at her age, she could have easily given up if not for her family who accompanied her there. Wow. When she was interviewed backstage, she was quite adamant that she loved singing and that she dreamed of becoming a superstar someday. She said she mm -hmm. would be quite happy if the judges all said yes to her. Her wish was granted, so she moved on to the next round. Yeah. I shot you down, bang, bang. Oğlum diğer şeye kadar dişi çıkmış şaka mı bu? Angelina Jordan nice. consistently gave every performance as if it was her last, but did it smoothly. Whether she sang a cappella or with music in the judges' cut round, the Norway's Got Talent judges couldn't help but approve and send her to the next round. During the semi-final wow. round, she sang Nancy Sinatra's song, Bang Bang, and her voice impressed everyone with the maturity and depth it showed, especially since she was accompanied solely by a guitarist in that performance. Wow. Everyone expected that she would end up in the final round. Wow. Wow, the voice. I know this pair from us. Ooh. For her final performance, she chose the classic song Summertime, which was initially an aria written by George Gershwin for the opera Porgy and Bess. However, yes. the version Angelina performed was Billie Holiday's jazz version, released in 1936, and which hit the U.S. music charts at number 12. It turned out to be the right choice of song, as she sang it brilliantly. Everyone seemed to think so, too, and so she was declared the grand winner of the competition, with 46% of the votes. Mm. TV ratings went through the roof and was the end of the beginning of her road to stardom. Uh. After winning the top prize in Norway's Got Talent, Angelina's video performance of Gloomy Sunday trended on YouTube, giving her much-needed worldwide exposure. Wow, really? She's done many things since then to help her in achieving her ultimate goal, including releasing three albums. Her eponymous album <laughs> with six cover songs, such as I Put a Spell on You, Fly Me to the Moon, and Our Day Will Come, and many hmm. digital singles, including Back to Black and What is Life. Okay. I see trees of green. Red roses too. Wow. I see them bloom. Wow. Her vocal prowess led to being this invited to several prestigious song. events, including the Nobel Peace Prize concert in 2014, entitled Save the Children's Peace Prize and Celebration. And before one. Even Avicii, um, but... the successful Swedish DJ and producer, invited her to perform the vocals on his Volvo Not marketing campaign, speech, I guess. shown globally in 2016, with the song Feeling Good by Nina Simone. She made guest appearances in popular TV shows such as The View in the same year and brought down the house with the mm. Frank Sinatra classic Fly Me to the Moon. The I know following this year, from she appeared too. in the UK version of Little Big Shots, in which she sang her single, What a Difference a Day Makes. I didn't know. Her personality and beautiful features also landed her a small role in the Netflix crime drama series, Lilyhammer. Wow. In between really? these activities, Angelina never forgot why she performed barefoot on stage. She published an illustrated book with her grandmother as the artist, entitled Between Two Hearts about a homeless girl she met when she was around six. She was outside mm. with her mom and her grandmother walking in the street and saw mm. a girl sitting on the ground begging for money. She talked to the girl for quite a while and learned her story. Before mm. they parted ways, she gave her shoes to the girl as there were scars on the girl's feet because she was barefooted. The girl initially refused her gift and said that Angelina need not do that, but nah. she insisted. From then on, Angelina made a vow to perform on stage without shoes on uh. until every kid in the world had them too. When a rare talent comes out on national television, expect many written articles published online about it from prominent music, it's news, and entertainment sites, including Billboard, Time, CNN, and People. 
the production executives of America's mm. Got Talent, AGT, really AGT. knew how to stir things up when they invited her back to compete mm. in the Champions Edition. On the premiere night of AGT The Champions in January 2020, Angelina made her presence felt with a bang in front of American viewers with her rendition of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Six uh, years after she won the Norwegian version of the talent sick. competition series. She made some changes to the song that made it truly hers. Instead of a rock vibe, she turned it into a swinging ballad, and everyone reacted pretty much the same as during her audition round in Oslo. After just the first line, the venue was filled with white lights from the cell phones of people in the audience, a spectacular sight to behold while listening to her voice. During her backstage interview, Angelina revealed that ever since she was a little girl, she'd wanted to sing for Simon Cowell and really wanted to impress him. She knew that being on the AGT stage was her biggest opportunity in life and hoped that she would win it. Her vocal cords and style belied her young age, which mesmerized everyone watching her. The judges Aww. had special words for her. Howie Mandel said that this stage would change her life forever. Alexa Dixon commented that she felt that she'd witnessed a star being born. Her favorite judge, Simon, told her, Everything about tonight felt like it came from you. The arrangement of the song, the simplicity of it. I've never heard that song in that version before. Aww. Seriously, this was an amazing performance. However, Aww. it was Heidi Klum who gave her the biggest compliment of the night as she pressed the golden buzzer which sent her straight through to the final round. Wow. Even Queen, the band who originally sang the song, twittered about it with clapping emojis and tagged Angelina too. All the judges agreed that it was something rare and were stupefied that Angelina at 13 could deliver such a powerful and evocative performance with the Elton John song, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. She made the song relevant and contemporary as if it wasn't released back in 1973. Nice. Simon nailed it when he said that she made America's Got Talent the Champions finals way better as she took a risk by doing something entirely different than most contestants in the talent competition would do. It was yes. a performance that he wouldn't forget for a long, long time. Aww. Now he made an important note that while it was quite hypnotic and knew that she was a superstar in the making, it was the AGT superfans who would vote huh. the grand winner for the season. It was going to be tough because the super fans representing the 50 states could only choose one. America mm -hmm. voted, but Angelina wasn't in the top five, but certainly made a splash, and her AGT Bad. The Champions video performances uploaded onto YouTube and Facebook generated billions of views, which made her a superstar wow. and would inspire her really? to continue perfecting her craft. With a vocal talent like her, failing to win a nationally televised talent competition didn't stop her from achieving her dreams. She was seen dreams. everywhere after the show was aired and released more music, continuing yes, to record you know. many cover songs, most being uploaded onto various social media platforms. Even during the COVID-19 pandemic, when almost everywhere was under lockdown, Angelina Aww. continued recording at home and while being yes. homeschooled. When she started singing, she and her family probably never imagined that there would come a time when she would perform in front of one of the most powerful men in the free world. In 2019, she was invited to perform at their Brilliant Minds convention held in Stockholm, Sweden, with the keynote uh -huh. speaker, former U.S. President Barack Obama, along with former U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, actress wow. Gwyneth Paltrow, and the 2015 World's Youngest Billionaire Snapchat CEO Evan Spiegel. Uh, she was really? overwhelmed but had a photo taken with the popular statesman. In August 2020, uh, Angelina's manager and uncle found her an American recording label and signed a contract with Republic Records owned by Universal Music Group. She shared uh, the same music production house with many successful artists, including superstars Ariana Grande, Taylor uh, Swift, Drake, really? and Stevie Wonder. Apparently, after her videos went viral, several recording labels approached her family wanting to sign her up, but her parents felt that she needed to develop her talent more before tying up with any of them. Angelina said she waited for her time to shine. Mm -hmm. I believe at that moment, Republic saw my vision and understood me. 
Republic Record CEO and founder Monty Lipman wanted to sign her up immediately after listening to a song she recorded. Under the new label, she mm. released her debut single, Million Miles, in November uh, 2020, uh, co-written with so Grammy Award-winning Norwegian duo Stargate. Angelina was quite emotional when she recorded the song and was crying in the mm. booth, saying, To be honest, it was a feeling of relief mm. that all my feelings were written down and I felt relieved. <sighs> this is sad. She's been writing many songs, and it was all about her experiences. She also she's shared writing with too? her debut what? single. She planned to write it differently than it turned out, as she felt that someone was guiding her the whole time in the studio. She wished that people who would listen to it could somehow relate to the story behind the song. The young singer just wow. turned 17 years old and was grateful to be invited by the Moroccan Swedish record producer huh. Red One in February 2023 huh. to perform together the song We Are the Best in Paris, France. It was huh. the 2022 Federation Internationale de Football Association or FIFA anthem. The man. fans loved it because she put her color on it, which upgraded the song and made it more relevant. Everyone was yes. also surprised to see how beautifully she'd grown from an adorable seven-year-old girl Yes. Çok hızlı büyüdü bu arada ya. Çok iyi. During the 20th annual Asian American Awards where Angelina performed Bohemian Rhapsody and I Have Nothing, she told a reporter ah. during the red carpet event that she was preparing for a new album that she hoped would come out in 2023, saying hmm. that she put her heart and soul into the songs that she wrote for the album and wished that all of them would be included in it. We can yes. hardly wait. Thank nice. you for spending some time with us. That's so good video. I like that. Thank you for video. Neyse abi videonun sonuna diyelim. Daha fazla Angelina Jordan hakkında video istiyorsanız video beğenerek yorumlarda bunu yazabilirsiniz. Kanalıma da abone olursunuz. Sevinirim. Kendinize bakın. Görüşmek üzere. Bay bay.